Hey guys, what is up? It is Reese Tafso back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about how to use Lens Studio that Snapchat gives you. It's a free application, software, whatever you want to call it, that you can download on your PC, MacBook, or anything that's not a phone, basically, that is a computer like thing. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Safari and you're going to go to Lens Studio. Once you're at Lens Studio, you're just going to hit download, and once it downloads, you're going to open it up and make sure everything installs. Pause the video, and once everything installs, play the video again. Alright, now that everything's installed, we're going to open up the application. Once you open up the application, you will be prompted with a template that you can complete. You can just exit out of it by hitting Command W. Now I'll bring you straight to this home screen right here. At this home screen, I'm going to show you how to make just a basic lens and what it will take to do it. So here we have the lens and um, this is what it would look like right now with nothing on it and I'm just going to tell you a few tips and tricks for whenever you're doing this. Command Z, this is for MacBook, will get you anything that you've done it will undo it so say you move something the wrong way just hit command z and that will delete it command w brings you to the home screen command s saves the whole project these are just some simple commands that i didn't know at first but now i do so what we're going to do is we're going to hit objects if you can't find objects what you're going to go is to window panels and you're going to add all the panels that you see over here Objects, screen config, scene config, my bad. Resources, inspector, and preview. Now we're going to hit add new. We're going to go down to color correction. And we're going to click any one of these. I'm going to go with instant photo. That's how instant photo affects it. We're going to click instant photo. Once you have instant photo up, you're going to go to inspector. And over here you can see it says the photo it's using. Now, this is what it does to you, it makes you look like this, but if you want to change how it looks, what we're going to do is we're going to click on texture, we're going to hit add new, import files, and we're going to import our own files. I'm just going to pick any one of my uh, textures, well, which will be this one right here. We're going to hit enter, and then we're going to hit OK. That really messes up the picture, but we're going to slowly lower it so it just does a little lightning with blue. And then we're going to go to objects again. We're going to hit add new, and we're going to scroll down to base retouch. This I like to use because I have acne, and this really helps. We're going to put soft skin all the way up to 250 because everyone likes to look like they have soft skin. Put whitening teeth down to a very low intensity because it is something that if you see it, it's like it can make your tongue white. Eye sharpening, you can turn to whatever you want, but do not go to 250 because it will then mess up the way you're, you look. Eye whitening, I always like to keep it at the low end. Now, now once you have all this, we basically have a basic lens created. Now we're going to go to project info. We're going to name it whatever we want as long as it isn't a cuss word or anything bad. And we can name it filter for YouTube. We're going to choose an icon. I'm going to pick the first photo that I can click on. Oh boy. And we're going to do this. Hit save icon. And hit apply. Once we hit apply, we're going to hit Publish Lens, it's going to ask you to sign in first before all this, I forgot about that, but once you sign in, you can just do this. Community Lens, Submit, it's going to take about 30 seconds before it's up. Over here are, are my total reach, my total views, total plays, and total shares. These are the amount of times it's been shared. Amount of times that it's been activated, amount of times that people have played it on their stories and seen it, and the amount of different people that have seen it. Uh, that's just in the past seven days. We go to all time. We're at almost 600,000 and 323.7 thousand. So over here, we're going to hit refresh, and it should be up. And 
and there we go it is live and once you get your first hundred it will then start showing up in the views and in your plays and then shares they take a while to show up you need to make sure you just have enough um, here's what it will look like just a few of mine what they look like after being shared a lot now that we have all that done you're gonna hit command s this is gonna save file you're gonna name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it YouTube and now that it's saved you can basically just hit command W and it's gonna bring you to this screen and you can get started on your next lens if you guys would like to know more about how to create more lenses Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll teach you more of the ways to create lenses, how to make words above, how to make crowns, how to make filters that move, all that different type of stuff. Just like my video, subscribe, and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. One last thing before I go, that if you click on your creator profile name and then creator profile, it will bring you to your creator profile and show you what it looks like to everyone else when they go on the Snapchat Lens Studio website. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching and have an amazing day.